Friends, this is the first riding lawnmower that I ever ever bought brand new. I've bought one riding lawnmower used for $300, an old John Deere about three or four years ago. It uh, gave out on me. <clears throat> so this is the Troy built 50 inch Super Bronco, it's called Hydrostatic. I bought it at Lowe's. <clears throat> and so the video you're getting ready to see is the guys from Lowe's unloading the a lawnmower and then uh, telling me some things about it. The guy, Jacques, was his name. He's supposedly an expert and says he owns a uh, riding lawnmower similar to this one, about three years older. But this is what you're getting ready to see. Uh, I thought it would just be worth shooting and recording what they told me so I would know all the bits about it that they said. So that's what you're getting ready to see. If you own this lawnmower or are thinking about getting it, pretty good deal, I think. Uh, it had really good reviews. And it's 24 horsepower, Kohler engine, 50 inch cut, uh, taxes and delivered. I think it was right, right around $2,000, just a little bit more than that. I think it's $17.99 or something to buy it if you're in North Carolina. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like. Broke down the side. Yeah. Get moving. Yeah. Push it by the tire. <laughs> it works. Works well. Okay. Now there was something rolled up under this in there. Is that like a? It's a duct. It's for it's a dryer duct. Okay. Okay. No big thing. So. Okay. Yeah. What? Well, give me the. I'm, I'm just recording it so I don't forget it. What's the uh, instructions? I'll do my usual spiel. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> All right. In here, of course, it's about two and a half gallons, roughly. Okay. This through here. Let's check your oil each time before you do it. Yeah. Yep. Your air filter. Okay. Oil filter. And then fuel filter, of course. This is for um, draining the oil. So you drain the oil right there where the yellow thing yes. is. Yes. Okay. Now, what you do, what you use here in the bag, there's a, uh, there's a tube. Okay. 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 And that tube, you pop off that little black cap. Yep. Two fits over, twist, pull out. Okay. And the oil will drain. Okay. Um, we recommend five hours. So the first run time with the oil in there, replace the oil. It's like your break in oil. It's so like about air oil. So the first, the first round, what's in there now? Five yes. hours? Five hours, yes. Okay. And then, then you renew it. Just, you don't have to replace the filter, just the, the oil itself. Okay. And then you're good to go. And then how, and it, I guess it tells in here how many hours, is it five, is it five hours every time or is it? No, no, just the first time. It's the first time, just yeah. first time. Okay. Um, your manual will tell you your intervals and everything Gotcha, else. gotcha, okay. Um, so I have a Troy built, I'm not sure if it's changed, but I know it says about every 500 for the, the air filter. Yeah. And then, but like I say, it's, I and do air, mind, And the air filter just comes out right here. Yeah, there's two little, these right here slide out. I got you, okay, you pull them out, there yeah. you go, okay. Um, and we sell them there at Lowe's or you can All get right. it through Troy build if you like. Um, let's see. Now, to start, first of all, back here, it's a, it's a true hydrostat. So, as you saw us pull this out, yeah. that is so you can push it easily. Okay. Now, to engage the transmission, push it in. Okay. Then you're good to go. Okay. Okay. So, that pulling that out just takes the transmission offline. Sort exactly. Of. Okay. Yes. Okay. Just like with any other rider. Depress the brake. Okay. And with this one, it automatically disengage your your parking brake, which is here. Okay. When you push this lever completely forward like that, forward. it puts it on choke. Okay. And then just. Sweet. Now, with this unit. Yep. Okay. Typically gonna have it here. Now if you if you need to back up a lot, yeah. What you do is once you have the the blaze engaged, which you can pull by this and I'll do that a little bit later. Okay. You turn it to here while the gates while the blades are engaged. That's how you go reverse. Exactly. You push that button so the red light comes on. Yeah. As long as you don't, you know, um, disengage the or take off the PTO, that light will stay on, you can go forward, back, however you wish. Okay. Um, if you just don't want to do that more, just turn it back to there and you're good to go. Okay. Um, Whenever you also, whenever you you're driving or you have any kind of load on here, especially if you're you're using your blades, you want to have it on full throttle. Okay. And that that way it's not as much strain on the transmission. Okay. Um, forward pedal, 
The yep. further you push it, the faster you go. Okay. And the same with reverse. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, push forward, step down, and then lock your parking brake. All right. Um, our meter here. Um, you got your, this is blade hot? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, I know Troy build has changed. I'm, I know with John Deere, they were like a quarter inch increments. Yeah. That looks like that's about what that is, but. Yeah. Um, now, inside that pouch, you have the little green piece there. Yep, see that. That's your deck wall. Yes, to, to, you squeeze screw it in. Right it, there, I it, see it. It pops on right there. And is that, uh, is you run water through it, it's all you gotta do? Yeah, what, what you do is like, um, you get it started, yeah. put it on there, then you, you turn on your blades, yeah. and you just run it until it starts, it comes out clear. Okay, all right. Um, also, they recommend, you know, there's like a, it's like a silicone spray you can put underneath it. It helps keep the grass from, from, um, from attaching to it. Okay. Um, so, do you see all that loads too, the silicone spray or whatever? Yes, we do. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Um, actually, it's like four, four of the mower. Okay. Um, and you spray it on the on the the spray up under the deck. Yes. Yeah. All, okay. All along the inside. Exactly. All the surface under there, and it just keeps it from sticking. Okay. I wish I had known that when I got mine. <laughs> all right. Um, outside of that, that's, that's it. That's it, huh? I'm going to. I tested it when I, I was at the store, but I'm going to start it up. Yeah. Take it over in your yard if you don't mind. Yeah, man. Setting and then make sure the blades work. Sure, that's fantastic. Appreciate it. <laughs> That's good. No, um, I got. I, and it, it, it needs better to have. Uh, well, you really want to go with uh, ethanol freeze. You yeah. Oh, ethanol. That's what you mean. E ethanol free. I mean. Um, yeah. I, I had an issue with when I left mine in there one time. Um, it caused it to surge. Ah. And um, and I had it took a it was a bear to try to get it out. But where do you go get your ethanol free gas? Well, um, I get mine at Big Daddy's because I, I live out in little Norway. So yeah. Okay. Really, um, but I'll do a look online someplace. Yeah. Well, I, I understand East West has it. East West, okay. Um, you know where that is, right? Yeah. Okay. So I, understand, I understand they do, and I, I've, I've never gotten it from there. I absolutely love it. I got a Super Bronco, and I, I love it. Um, Kohler engine, it's quiet, strong. Um, I mean, of course, it's way different than this model, but. Um, Good deal. All right. It's Jacques, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. I like what. And you too, Steven. All right, guys. Autograph right here. Oh, you bet. Hang on. Print off.